with their first possession of the football game. Fourth down and two. Big play early on in this game. Tony Smith trying to get the crowd here to be a little quiet. Option to the left. Smith's going to keep it. He's got more than enough for a first down. Break into the corner and touchdown Cal Poly. Smith kept it himself and it's a 26-yard touchdown. How many times you see that? The defense is so geared up in the middle of the football field. The offense. Need to get to the Cal Poly 46-yard line for a first down. Another empty backfield for Andrew Sell. He's got time to throw over the middle and too high and picked off. Tipped by Jamin Sambrano, picked off by Asa Jackson. And he's back to midfield. And Cal Poly with another big play on defense. Greg Hardy at the tight end, number 86 with the tackle. You can see why this kid is uh, was a preseason All-American, Asa Jackson, all-conference performer at corner. One of the leaders on this defense, head coach Tim Walsh talking to me about him this week. Just a football player, knows how to play the game. At the five-yard line. They've got the offense on the field. <clears throat> Smith to the fullback, Molinari, and he's in for the touchdown. Romanelli. I'll get it right the second time. He's in easily for a five-yard touchdown. He's a big man at 6'3", 230, and he had a lot of running room there, too. There's those Cal Poly fullbacks coming back into the play. Not really the, the straight dive like you usually see out of their fullbacks. Kind of took that one off to the tackle. and Seven pound sophomore out of Portland, Oregon. And uh, heard he has an ankle issue, so there, he probably is injured. Smith got banged up on that last position. Not sure if he's hurt or not. So the Cal Poly down to their third string quarterback here, trailing by six. And here's Shumway's first pass. He's got a man open. It's Marr who's going to haul it in at the 50. Jimmy Wilson trying to chase him down, but David Marr is going to score. Touchdown, Mustangs. Not a bad pass for Shumway to start it out. Wow. 83 yards on Shumway's first pass. Since coming into the game, takes a shot from Tyler Hobbs, but he had Marr wide open. Perfect pass, Marr the slot back, number 13. Wide open, and just uh, like I said, unfortunately, right a couple seconds ago, just a touch. I can get a breath of life right there after the Grizzlies had come up with six straight points of their own. Here's another look at the touchdown. A perfect pass. Mark never broke stride. You can see he's running full stride over the shoulder. Not that easy of a catch, kind of a little over to his right. Then he runs away from the Grizzly defense. The Mustangs, who led, took an early 7 0 lead, regained the first lead since that 7 0 lead in the first quarter. Mark caught three catches last year against the Grizzlies as well. They use him as a runner and a, throw and a, and a receiver. Doug Shumway, sophomore. Good start for him. He is still fired. .com. So the Grizz come back out with Andrew Sell in an empty backfield, looking to answer right back. Sell with time, looking down the middle, picked off. It's a good return here. And it's a touchdown for Cal Poly. Scotty Cordier had four picks last season. Scotty Cordier jumped the route. Sell was looking for Grattan. And it's a touchdown for the Mustangs. And just like that, they're up by seven. And Grattan was not only covered well, Andrews should have eating that ball or throwing it away because good coverage. Sam was not open and right to Cordier who took it to the house. Read the quarterback's eyes all the way there. The senior out of Oakland, California. 
With 1.26 still to go in the third quarter and how quickly things have changed. Montana, a six point lead, 83 yard touchdown catch, and then about a 45 yard interception return for a touchdown. And Cal Poly's up by eight. Back to back huge plays by the Mustangs. Montana had led by six points about two minutes ago and now the tables dramatically turned. Cal Poly up 28 to 20, about 11 minutes to go in this game. Second down and 12 for the Mustangs. Shumway to throw. He's gonna look deep for Dominique Johnson in the corner. Caught, touchdown, flags down, but it's probably going against the Grizz. And another touchdown pass by the third string quarterback, Shumway. Pretty good coverage by Tremaine, but not quite good enough. We talked about that matchup. Uh, at the beginning of the football game, Derek, and uh, number nine won this one. Dominique Johnson just pulling it in. The penalty was against Trumaine Johnson for pass interference, as we expected. Here, though. Running out of time. Settled for a couple short field goals, and they could have had touchdowns, and now they find themselves down by 15, and Chase Reynolds is lit up incomplete. Asa Jackson with the hit on the Montana star running back. Peter Wynn comes in for Chase. Chase pushes some away, said, no, I'm okay. I want to stay in this football game. And that's what you expect from a senior leader like Chase Reynolds. Big hit there. It sure was. Asa. It's a first down is what you're looking for if you're Cal Poly, obviously. Watch the top of your screen. There's big number nine, Dominique Johnson, third and seven. Shumway rolls that way. Under pressure, and he's sacked. The ball's loose. It's picked up by the Grizzlies at the 15-yard line. Severin Campbell forced the fumble. Wow. Talk about a big turnover at this point of the football game. Waldo, Brian Waldhauser is the guy who picked it up. He's been all over tonight. And now with less than seven minutes left, the Grizz have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And this is the, what we just said it, Dave. Third string quarterback. You don't want to get too aggressive. Severn Campbell's been doing that for about four years for the Grizzlies. Great, great player, or great play, excuse me, by Severn. Waldo trying to get at the end zone, tripped up about what? The 13 yard line. Back out of Santa Clara, California. If Roper gets by him, he's probably gained five and steps out of bounds. Instead, the clock is running. It's near two minutes and it's second down and eight. Roper, hit as he lets go, it's knocked loose, fumble, Cal Poly recovers. That's the call. I don't think his arm was moving forward. And that time, it's Kyle Murphy, the defensive end, the junior out of Santa Rosa, California, the junior college transfer. What a play there. Cal Poly really has got no pressure all night, but what a time for Kyle Murphy to come up with a play. We'll look at the replay here. Oh, definitely hit before his arm was going forward. Roper was looking to his right for Sombrano, who had run a corner route. And to say that's a big turnover is, would be an understatement. 155 left. Pinto will try to pin the Grizzlies deep. They're not even going to put a return man back there. Grizz making sure this isn't a fake. 115 on the clock. Both teams out of timeouts. Pinto, line drive, gonna bounce at the five and it's perfect for Cal Poly. Gonna roll to a stop at the two yard line and the clock stops with 1.06 left in the game. Montana is gonna have to go a long ways to win this game. Smart thing to do by the must. Number one team in the country coming into California. And they only got 13 seconds left to try to make something happen. Roper going to roll to his left. Now he's going to throw and it's picked off by Marty Muhammad. He takes a knee and Cal Poly has shocked the Grizzlies. Muhammad was smart there, catches it, goes down, didn't want to risk fumbling the football. And uh, 
great win by the Mustangs and real early in the season for the Grizz. One and one at Eastern next week for Big Sky Conference opener. That won't be too easy either. No, another tough road trip coming up. Justin Roper was hit as he tried to let go of this one. Couldn't get anything on it as it was Gavin Cooper there. Showed that he wasn't going to come. Then he did blitz and there's the knee and the win. Cal Poly storm in the field. They've just beaten the number one team in the country. And the happiest man right now in California is Doug Shumway, the third string quarterback who comes into the game with this team losing.